Welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to find unit rate four different ways involving unit rates with fractions. Here we go. Our objectives today are that you, the student, will be able to find unit rates when one or both quantities are fractions. You will also be able to model unit rate problems with fractions using bar diagrams and double number lines. Here is the question I would like you thinking about today as I proceed through the lesson. How can you apply what you know about unit rate to find unit rates involving fractions? So that's our overarching idea today. We're going to be working with unit rate and fractions. First, we want to know what does unit rate look like in the real world? Everything we do today is going to connect to our real world. So you jogged two miles in 15 minutes. Two miles in 15 minutes is a ratio that's a rate because it compares two quantities in two different units. We want to know what's your speed in miles per hour. So when we look at that, we want to know exactly what is unit rate. By definition, our miles per hour is going to be our unit rate in the real world, and here's our definition. Unit rate is a rate in which the first quantity is compared to one unit of the second quantity. So our units are miles and hour, and that one unit is the second or the denominator of our ratio. And here where we say per hour, this means one hour. So the number of miles in one hour would make this a unit rate. So we want to find, if we've jogged two miles in 15 minutes, what is our unit rate, which will be miles per hour. First, we're going to model this using a bar diagram. So we're going to create two bars, one to represent miles and one to represent that hour. We know that our time is got to be our our anchor, right? That's what we know has to be one. So let's start out with what we know. We're told 15 minutes. In terms of hours, 15 minutes is one fourth of an hour. So we're going to take this bottom bar, which has to equal one hour total, and we're going to divide it into fourths. So one, two, three, four. And we know that each fourth is a fourth of an hour or 15 minutes, okay? So when we put all four fourths together, we get one full hour. So there is our unit rate rule that has to be one. Now we're gonna divide our top bar into the same number of sections. So we need four sections to represent our miles, okay? So we have our one hour each in a fourth of an hour or 15 minutes in each. So now here's our four sections, and we know that in a fourth of an hour, we're going to have jogged two miles. So each one of these boxes is going to be two miles in one fourth of an hour, two miles in one fourth of an hour, two miles, and two miles. So when we look at this total bar, we can see down here our total bar was our one hour. Up here we get to add it together, two, four, six, eight miles. And that's eight miles in one hour, and that's our unit rate. We jogged two miles in 15 minutes. If we continue with that rate, our unit rate in miles per hour will be eight miles per hour. And this is how you model it in a bar diagram. Now let's model it using a double number line. So we have the same real world problem here. We're jogging two miles in 15 minutes. We want the unit rate in miles per hour. So my double number line, starting at zero, I have my miles and my hour. Again, we need to section this off so that it equals one. We know that our 15 minutes is a fourth of an hour. So we're gonna have our four sections here, one fourth, then one half, because one fourth plus one fourth is one half. So we have our two miles and one fourth of an hour. Now we're gonna go in our denominator here, our hour and our second quantity is going to be one half, three fourths, and one. 
So we have our one hour sectioned off in fourths because we know each fourth of an hour we're going two miles. So if I go two more miles to get to my half an hour, two plus two is four, plus another two is six, and another two is eight, and this is how I model it on a double number line, eight miles per hour. Now we're gonna use a ratio table. So again, we're gonna set up a table. You could set it vertical, I did it horizontal. We have miles and hour. So we know that we've gone two miles in one fourth of an hour. So now we know that we wanna know what one hour is. One fourth to one, to get to that, I need to multiply this by four. One fourth times four is one. What I do to the this part of the uh, ratio, I have to do the same to the top, to the miles. Two times four is eight. And that will remain an equivalent ratio. So if I do the same to both quantities, then it's an equivalent ratio. And now I have my second quantity is one, one hour. So eight miles in one hour. And our final way is going to be recognizing this is a complex fraction. So a complex fraction is a fraction as a ratio A to B, where A and or B are fractions, and B does not equal zero. So remember, if your denominator is zero, then you have a value that's undefined. We cannot divide by zero. You cannot make zero groups of something. So here, we can write this ratio or this rate as a complex fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do our miles, two miles, and then we're gonna have our fourth of an hour. So this is a ratio, but it's also a complex fraction. It's not in simplest form, okay? So now let's take this a step further and see how we can solve this. So when we have a complex fraction, this is really a division problem. Any fraction bar represents division. So I can rewrite this ratio or complex fraction to be two divided by one fourth. Two divided by one fourth is equivalent to this complex fraction. To divide, I'm gonna change division to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna rewrite this to be two multiplied by four. One over four, the reciprocal, you flip it, four over one or four. Two multiplied by four is eight. And that gives me my eight miles per hour. So we keep our miles per hour from our complex fraction and we just divide to put it in simplest form. Now it's your turn. Here's your real world problem. You ran three miles in one third of an hour and I wanna know what's your speed in miles per hour. Here's where I would like you to pause the video and complete this graphic organizer. You're going to complete this using, model it using a bar diagram, a double number line, a ratio table, and finally with a complex fraction. So take your time, go ahead and pause, and then come back to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. Here's our solution. We're gonna start with our bar diagram. So double bars, I'm gonna have my miles and my hour. Remember, we gotta make our bottom bar one. So I'm gonna say that it's one third of an hour, so I need three sections. Each one is gonna be a third. Two thirds, three thirds is a whole hour. So one third, two third, three thirds of an hour, make a whole hour. Now we're gonna fill out our top bar and we're gonna have equal sections. So we have three. We know that each one third of an hour, we ran three miles. So three miles in a third of an hour, three miles and three miles. So three, six, nine miles total represented in that bar, giving me a unit rate of nine miles per hour. Let's check to see if we get the same answer with a double number line. So let's set this up. We're gonna have our miles and our hour, and we're gonna start at zero. And again, we're gonna have our bottom number line needs to go to one. We know we're going in thirds, so one third, we got the three 
miles in one third of an hour. And we're going to put our other two sections here to get our two thirds and then our three thirds, which is our one. So what our one hour is now represented on our bottom number line. We know that every third of an hour we go three miles. So three plus three would give me six. Six plus three would give me nine. And here is my unit rate, nine miles in one hour. Let's do this on our ratio table. We have miles and hour. We're gonna put in the rate we were given, three miles in a third of an hour. And we know that we want this hour to be one. We need that second value, that second quantity to be one. What do I need to do to one third to get to one? Well, one third multiplied by three is one. What I do to this quantity, I must do the same to this quantity. Three times three is nine. So there is my unit rate, nine miles in one hour. And finally, our complex fraction, three miles divided by one third of an hour. This is a complex fraction. We're gonna rewrite this to be division, three divided by one third. Here we go. We're gonna divide by one third, which means we're gonna change to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal, flipping that fraction. So it becomes three multiplied by three. Three times three is nine, giving me, again, for the fourth time, nine miles per hour. I wonder which one was your favorite way to model or the complex fraction. Let's move on to unit rate when we have two fractions, meaning both quantities in the given rate are fractions. We're still going to start with modeling with our bar diagram. So here we have one third of a wall in a half an hour and we wanna find the rate per hour. So we have our double bars and our wall and our hour. So we're painting a wall and our, we wanna know in one hour how much of the wall we get painted. We're told one half of an hour. So we're gonna divide this to be a whole one hour. We're gonna divide it into two sections because we know we have a half of an hour. So half of the box is a half an hour and then the other half is a half an hour. So this wall bar has to be divided into two sections and we know each section is one third of a wall. So one third of a wall gets painted in a half an hour. When we put those together, one third and one third is two thirds of a wall gets painted in one hour. So there is our unit rate two-thirds of a wall per hour. We can also go to our double number line. So setting it up, we have our top number line representing our wall and our bottom representing our one hour. Again, we're starting with a half an hour. So we know that we have one-third of the wall in a half an hour, and we're gonna go to our one here. We've increased by one half to get to one, so one third in a half an hour means another third in this next half an hour. So that means one third plus one third is two thirds, giving me a unit rate of two thirds of a wall per hour. Now let's model using a ratio table. So we're gonna set up our table. We have our wall to our hour, and we have our rate we're given. We have one third of a wall in one half of an hour knowing we wanna get our hour to one to have a unit rate. So now we wanna determine what do we do to one half to get to one? Well, we're gonna multiply by two. One half multiplied by two is one. What I do to this quantity, I must also do to this quantity. One third multiplied by two is two thirds, giving me a unit rate of two thirds of a wall per hour. And our fourth way, to represent this is with a complex fraction. So we're gonna write our rate that we're given, one third of a wall in a half an hour, and we're gonna write that as a division problem. One third divided by one half. So now we're gonna rewrite division to be multiplication. Keep, change to multiplication, and flip, multiply by the reciprocal. 
So here we're going to rewrite that to be one third multiplied by the reciprocal of one half, which is two or two over one. Multiply are my numerators, two. Multiply my denominators, three. So I get two thirds or two thirds of a wall per hour. It's your turn. Here is your real world problem. You use three fourths of a cup of fruit to make one third of a smoothie. And I want you to find out how much fruit is needed for one smoothie. So you're gonna model using a bar diagram, a double number line, a ratio table, and using a complex fraction. Here's where you pause, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back, let's review the solution. So we're gonna set up our bar diagram. We have two bars, a double bar. We have fruit and a smoothie. We know we want this to be equal to one, and we're told initially one third of a smoothie. So we're gonna divide this into thirds to represent one full smoothie. So three sections, each one is a third of a smoothie. I used S to represent the smoothie. Now I know I need to divide my top bar into equal sections, so I'm gonna divide it into three sections, and we know that for each one-third of a smoothie, we're going to use three fourths of a cup of fruit. So three fourths of a cup, three fourths of a cup, three fourths of a cup. So now we need to add these all together to find out how much fruit for one smoothie. So three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths. Six fourths plus three fourths is nine fourths. So nine fourths of a cup will give me one smoothie. So you could also write that as two and one fourth. Four goes into nine twice with one left over. So nine fourths of a cup or two and one fourth cup. Let's go to our double number line. So let's set this up. We have our top and our bottom fruit and smoothie. We're starting at zero and we know that we're starting with our first rate was three fourths of a cup of fruit and one third of a smoothie from that three fourths cup. So we're gonna go put our second section, which is two thirds of a smoothie, and our last section is gonna be a whole smoothie. One third, one third, one third. So add them together, one third plus a third is two thirds, another third gives me a whole smoothie. So now, for every third, I got to increase by three fourths. Three fourths plus three fourths gives me six fourths. Six fourths plus three fourths gives me nine fourths. So nine fourths cup of fruit to give me one smoothie. Again, you could represent that as a mixed number, two and one fourth. Now let's use a ratio table. We have our fruit and our smoothie. Our rate we were given was three fourths of a cup for one third. We know we wanna know how much for one whole smoothie. So what am I gonna to do to one third to get to one? I'm gonna multiply by three. That means I have to do the same to the other quantity. Three fourths times three is nine fourths. Nine fourths of cups of fruit to get one smoothie. And now our complex fraction. Three fourths cup of fruit to one third of a smoothie. So our complex fraction, remember we're gonna rewrite this as a division problem. Three fourths divided by one third. Keep, change to multiplication, and multiply by the reciprocal. So three fourths multiplied by three, or three over one. Multiply my numerators, three times three is nine. Multiply my denominators, four times one is four. So nine fourths, which can also be written as two and one fourth. So two and one fourth cups of fruit per smoothie. And that is unit rate using fractions in four different ways. We used a bar diagram, a double number line, a ratio table, and a complex fraction that we learned how to simplify. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.